Hey, how's it going, you guys? Welcome back to some more 9-9. I guess I'm not as close to the end as I thought. Like, I just looked at a video. I looked at where I was in the video, and then I looked at, like, how much longer this person had in their video, and I was like, okay, I still got maybe, like, two or three hours. So, didn't spoil myself. Should be okay. But, uh, definitely have a few more hours to go. So, not as close to the end as I thought. Uh, so I'll probably make this a few more episodes. It seems like this uh, episode 2 is a lot longer than episode 1 was because I got through that in 11 episodes and this is already on episode 13. So it's going to be a little bit longer, guys. I'm almost to the end, I promise. I'm getting there. I'll I'll get there. But um, anyways, let's, let's continue on here. I want to see what happens with uh, the relationship here. It's gotten pretty late. Kept it up right through dinner and... Just reminiscing, thinking about all the crazy stuff we've been, th we've done, and telling each other about it. After a while, we ran out of stories, confessions, so we started talking about the movies we'd seen recently of the manga we were reading. It was just pointless small talk, but we couldn't stop ourselves. Maybe it's our way of making sure we never forget about each other. But now it's gotten late, and Sora is blinking and rubbing her eyes. She never says a word about being tired, though. Our situation was precarious enough as it is, and Sora's afraid that if she goes to sleep, she'll disappear while she's unconscious. This is why I'm not suggesting she go to sleep either. The clock ticks midnight, but neither of us is willing to sleep. We munch on some late night snacks in silence. At this point, we both run out of things to say, trying to fill the silence and put on a movie. We don't talk much during the movie, only occasionally commenting on something happening on screen. Time slowly slips by. 2 a.m. Come to think of it, neither of us have taken a bath yet. <laughs> well, it's a, yeah, it's a little late for that, don't you think? Sora gets up and takes a shower anyway, saying she wants to wash off the drowsiness, but before she can head to the bathroom... Oh, is freaking Sophie done? Okay, let's go! Sophie appears in the starburst display of purple light, same needlessly flashy entrance as always. She made it in time. But... Okay, so this means I did make the right choice then. Right? Like, uh, everything seems to be going good. <laughs> the strength drains from Sora's limbs, then she slides to the ground. She did it, she held out. I'm so happy I want to hug her, but given the uh, recent developments, it suddenly feels awkward too. While I'm hesitating like an idiot, Sophie unzips herself and spits something out onto the table. <laughs> that just sounds so wrong. <laughs> Yeah. Sora reaches for one of the vials and stares at it intently. Uh, interesting. Okay, that looks like a bunch of, like, fire in there or something. The glass cylinder is filled with an amber-colored liquid, so this is Ambrosia, the miracle drug that can cancel a contract between an artifact and its user. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Sora won't have to disappear. I'm so glad. <gasps> Sora nearly drops the vial. Oh, ew, you have to inject it. I mean, that makes sense, but... A thick needle sticks out of the end of one of it. I could have sworn that wasn't there a second ago. So, the one place I've heard that you would think would be really good to inject things in is your butt, okay? But I've heard it actually hurts, like, a lot, which is fun kind of funny to me, because I always like, thought of my butt as just, like, fat, right? You know, whatever. But apparently it hurts when you get stuff injected in there still, so. But that's where I would suggest doing it. Or your arm. Just just, just get it done with. I will say, putting stuff in is a lot better than taking stuff out when it comes to me. しんぱいしなくてもそう、そうなの。その注射器、アーティファクトの力の応用なのよ。つまり、いや、オフコース、オブビアスリー。yeah, that's totally how that works, right? Totally forgot about that, yeah. Yep, you'll be put in a state of where you just found out your favorite anime isn't getting a second season. 
少しの間眠るだけよただこのアンブロシアはこちらの世界の人間に合わせて調整はされているけれどあくまでも千年前の人間なのよ And it'll be fine. What could go wrong, guys? Yes, I'm going to go to the house. 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 After a few seconds, she backs,、uh, looks back up at Sophia, expression resolved. She came to a decision surprisingly quickly. Yeah, pretty much. At least this will give you some hope and some chance of living. Right. As we know, Sora will do anything for her own Ichan. We found that out last episode. Sora turns and looks at me. There's a fierce determination in her eyes. She said, all, She shed all hesitation. I thought y'all were gonna do that later. Why are you trying to do that right now? Freaking stupid chair, always deflating. You even lose consciousness instantly.、Mm. Chains me the syringe and lies down on the bed. She rolls up her pajama sleeve and stretches her bare arm out towards me. Uh, so I just noticed she's saying Onichan now in Nissan instead of Broski and Bro. What, what happened with that? Why is it different now? Have y'all noticed that? Like the, the words are different. I mean, obviously, that's like how it sounds in Japanese. It's like they're, they're, she's saying Onichan, but like, what happened to the Bros? What happened to the Broskis? The Bromeos? The Brofers? Brozos? Trying to, trying to remember all of them. <laughs> Now that I've gotten a closer look at it, the needle's practically as thick as those augers we use in art class in elementary school. It's massive. I don't even know what that is. Curious, I press the tip against my finger. That hurts alright, but like Sophie said, it doesn't actually leave a mark. I'm not bleeding either. Alright, I guess it'll be safe, probably. <laughs> Watch him just pass out now. <laughs> わかった。よし。多分そこそこ痛いぞ。力抜け。そのまま But no, that's the thing. You gotta do it before then. Like, cause you, you tense up as you get close. But you gotta do it, like, before you get to zero or get to one or whatever you're gonna use. I mean, I don't blame her, though. I hate getting shots. Shots are the worst. Especially getting blood drawn. Can't do that. Nope. Nage yo, aho ka yo! She's starting with 30. 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10! 10
There's a slight hiss in the liquid and the vial slowly trickles in the Sora. <laughs> Sora goes limp, passed out. Wow, and with possibly the most unladylike expression I've ever seen, I gingerly pull up the needle, then gently close Sora's half open eyes and mouth before getting to my feet. Yeah, well, Sophie, at least you understand her pretty well. Well, let's hope it works. それと説明し忘れたけれど、契約が破棄されても消えた記憶が戻るとは限らないわよ。いいさ。俺がしっかりと覚えている。そう。そんな前向きなあなたにいいニュースよ。オッケー。いや、私はあなたに聞いてみた
あいつがいる限り俺たちは狙われるあいつは再起不能にしなければいけない What are you gonna do, killer? <laughs> so she not get it, but he can end up. So they got all you got to cut. Toes and the So, ho ho, those are the two. I'm wondering that too, my guy. Or any artifact or could I go? I to me, Taiko the Kiru Chikaro. Oh, yeah, because sure, she's just handing him out like candy. So they show net. So you don't want to know. Over he's a sigh. Right now, I'm powerless. The artifact I originally bought a whiff still hasn't awoken. So I have to get an artifact I can use from Sophie and have her teach me how to forcibly form a contract with it. That's my only shot. I've got to persuade her. I've finished changing and look Sophie in the eyes. Tanam, Sophie. Ketsuron wo dasu mai ni saigo made kikasete. Saigo? Hitotsu wa te itta desho. Futatsu me mo, mitsu me mo, zenbu hanashite. Ah, sono koto ka. わかった二つ目は俺にも空の能力がかかっていること今朝の時点で母親に忘れられてたフードの子は覚えているわよ不意打ちできるかもって考えているなら甘いんじゃないかしらそれは分かったよ重要なのは九条と結城の方だどういうこと協力できないじゃない二人の記憶が戻ることを期待して今は待った方がいいと思うけれど逆だこういう言い方はなんだけど二人が障害になるかもしれない What is that? ああそういうこと Sophie picks up what I'm implying and not in confirmation 九条も結城も正義感が強い特に結城は正義にこだわっていた Oh, okay, I understand what he's saying He's saying if I go to kill her, they're gonna get in the way because they're, they're not gonna agree with that I think that's what he's implying 九条は俺を止めると思う勇気は下手したら敵に回る何にせよ絶対面倒なことになるだから今しかない二人に忘れられている今がチャンスなんだ Well, I'll have to see what Sophie says because I feel like the problem here is that if, if Sophie gives him another artifact and then he dies well then that's another artifact she has ドライな決断をするのね必要だからな誰かがやらなくちゃいけない三つ目はあいつがこっちの状況をかなり正確に把握していることだつまり家にいる間も安心できないってことだというかあいつはアーキファクトの収集が目的なんだ今すぐにでも乗り込んでこられたら俺は空を守りきれる自信がない。その可能性もないとは言えないけれど。わかってる。かなり低い。あいつがアーキファクトを使って人を殺すのは証拠を残さないためだと思う。だが、もしかしてという恐怖心を植え付けられた。警戒しないわけにはいかない。あいつが生きている限りずっとだ。ビクビクしながら毎日を過ごすことになる。いつあいつは殺しに来るんだろうってそれにあいつは契約を破棄したと知っていても空を狙う自分を知っている人間をそのままにしておくはずがないから Wow, Kakuru, you're making a ton of sense right now. I'm, I'm really happy. どうせいつかはこっちから攻めなくちゃいけないんだそれが今だ今やるしかない I mean, I suppose this is the best way. I still feel like having you keep or Even Miyako there would still help.、Uh, I would probably trust Yuki, but we haven't seen her power. I, I have a feeling we're not going to see hers until her route, probably episode four. Not to go to Kinakumo Naikeredo. Yotsume, Arundisho. Kakunan Tetskez, Anata no Honshin will kick us at Hoshimono. Okay, let's hear it. Sora ga mezameta doki. It de aritainda. Mo Sorani. Kawaii omoi was. I stare straight into Sophie's eyes. I can't believe she saw right through me. I came up all these logical arguments, but Sophie was absolutely right. There's exactly one reason I want to end things now. I don't want Sora to be in danger. If that means harming someone else to keep her safe, I'll do it. That simple. For Sora's sake, I'm going to end this here and now. That's the only reason I need. <laughs> Hand the syringe to Sophie. I guess this means she won't help me. How am I going to convince her to change her mind? 
I start desperately casting around for other arguments, but it seems that won't be necessary. Sophie unzips herself and swallows the vial along with my hand. I feel the way the vial disappear, but a second later, something else falls oh. in my palm. Surprised, I pull my hand back out. The syringe is gone, but something else has taken its place. A test tube, not unlike the syringe I returned to Sophie. It's filled with a strange silver liquid that resembles mercury. Uh, I don't want to drink that. What? This is an artifact. So we're gonna We're gonna drink our artifact, okay. Okay, well my question is so like this is in liquid form obviously when it's dormant, but can I I just eat somebody else's artifact and form a contract with them? Like how would that work? I grip the test tube tightly as a warmth spreads around me. With this, I can finally fight. We don't even know what this artifact does. Huh. <laughs> Has that been revealed before? She can move branches. So she can, like, physically just move out of this one. I don't remember that being a thing. She's so smug. But, you know, I think this means Sophie finally trusts me. That makes me a little happy. <laughs> I take off the ordinately decorated lid. The artifact burbles, expanding slightly. I guess this means it's awakening from its dormant state. Down the hatch then before this thing disappears. <laughs> yeah, I can only imagine that's... The artifact sticks to my throat, refusing to go down. Choking, I suppress my gab reflex and force it down my throat. If I were in a video game, this would be the moment for a bright light to envelop me and I'd get a cool victory jingle or something. Sadly, nothing of the sort happens. I do feel sensations spread from my stomach through the rest of my body. It's as if something that isn't a part of me is pouring its knowledge and will into every one of my blood vessels slowly assimilating with me. Well, I'm enjoying this because we actually get to see him getting an artifact. Like, that's pretty cool. Probably won't have that going forward, but... すぐに準備できるのがそれしかなかっただけよ。とにかくありがとう。これなら、あいつとも十分にやり合える。But what is it? Seems to worked out a sight better for you. Okay, I I don't quite understand what it is, but I turned the empty test tube to Sophie before turning to Sora. Fast asleep, I squat down next to her and stroke her hair. I'll be back soon, Sora, I promise. I'm gonna pretend I'm going to put an an end to everything and then I'm coming back to you. Wait for me then. Sophie. It's so so great seeing Sophie like so warm. ありがとう。助かる。せめて、ミヤコがいてくれるといいのだけど。あの子は魔眼の天敵だから。そうなのかアーティファクトが見えてないと盗めないだろう。そうじゃなくて。あ、いいわ。説明が面倒。さっさと
guess I can't tell sort of the truth. It pains me to lie to her, but I just write down, I'm making a quick trip to the convenience store on one of the pages and rip it out. Oh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Yep. Nothing else. Put down my pen, look over at Sora and stroke her hair again. I'll be back soon. And then I get to my feet and stride out of the living room without turning the lights off. Well, oh, frick. We're, gonna, we're just going to go fight freaking Ghost with some new crazy artifacts we got. Sophie floats alongside me, making my face. Matching my face. Sophie floats up and lands on my head. What the frick? Sophie stretches herself over my head, my vision goes black. But then a second later, it returns to normal. Is she like covering my face and becoming my eyes? Though it still feels like there's something wrapped around my head. <laughs> Sophie's voice uh, sounds like it's coming from right next to my ear. I obediently head over to the mirror over the sink. The top half of my face is covered by a stretched out version of the creepy plushie that Sophie manipulates. Mask. Freaky. So, Magano Toringawa, Meto Menga Alcoto. Joking a say it's a shimatara, what a shinga suguni shadan stanger. Everything goes dark again. And a moment later, my sight returns. I get it now. Hmm. Like, there isn't gonna be a bad end here. Like, this wouldn't have happened no matter what I chose, right? And then, like, we're going into a bad end here where I'm gonna die. Honki? Anata, sensu sayakune. Oi. That is true, though, Sophie. You are the last person to be able to make fun of somebody for how they look, okay? Because you, you're literally a stuffed animal. Alright, let's go get it then. Sophie and Dose of Transformation returns to being a plain old plushie. Well, a plain old plushie that floats. Now I've got both an artifact and a defense against the evil eye. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. What the frick is our artifact, though? Like, are they intentionally being vague about it? Danger on the wind. Heh. <laughs> Ghost turns around the moment she senses me approaching. Her eyes widen in surprise. She furrows her brow for a moment and then bursts out laughing. Hey, it protects me, okay? Just stop making fun of me. I don't want to hear from someone who calls themselves Ghost. What are you, some edgy teenager? You and freaking Yuki would be friends. <laughs> Ghost clutches her stomach and doubles up with laughter. Let's watch her outburst with cold, calm eyes. This would be a perfect opportunity for a surprise attack, but unfortunately, she's still too far away. I take a few shuffling steps forward, but Ghost backs away and straightens up, looking at me. Hey, my mommy made it for me, okay? So you can stop. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, frick, she's already going. Her stigma appears on her face. Her eyes glows with a wicked light. At almost the same time, my vision goes dark. Sophie blocking the evil eye for me. A moment later, I can see again. Go scoffs at me. Wow, okay. She's like, yeah, I want to be able to play with you a little bit first. そういうつもりで来たってことでいい。お前を止めに来た。ねえな。いいね、そそるぜ。話し合いに来たとか言われたら興ざんだ。やっとその気になってくれて嬉しいぜ。<笑> 
I do wonder how he's gonna stop her though. I don't I don't get that unless his artifact does something interesting. Maybe he can like get rid of her power or something? I don't know. Or maybe he'll be immune to her. Ghost Dawn's an evil grin. And a moment later the back of her hand starts to glow. <laughs> oh, frick, she's already shooting stuff at us. What the I sweep my hand to the side and a wall of fire blocks Ghost Invisible Lance. Oh, did she give us the um, fire guy's ability? Spark stands for the air. I make a fist with my stigma branded hand and pillars of flame leap up around us. Yes, okay, I'm excited about that. Yes, let's go. The artifact I'm using is the very one that belongs to the student who nearly burned down the school. I probably should have guessed that. It seemed like that was something she probably had on hand. Our Kujo stole from him now belongs to me. As always, Ghost doesn't look perturbed in the slightest. She shoves her hands into her pocket and grins sardonically. They're using that word again, guys. He's underestimating me. It's true that she has more artifacts and more experience with those artifacts. So maybe it's natural she looked down on me. Maybe she's not so much stronger. But she's not much stronger that I have no chance at all. On the way here, Sophie explained something to me. ユーザー同士の戦い。特に肉体に損傷を与えられない能力を有した者同士の戦いは、あなたの炎は魂を焼く。あの子のやりは魂を貫く。私のような現体は傷を負うけれど、あなたたちの肉体は痛みこそあれ
Oh boy. Um, I like that we have the firepower, but I'm not sure how much we can can win against a bunch of spears. Once again, I put up a shield of fire to block the follow-up attack. Gosh, dang. Keeps going. Another hail of spears rains down. I dodge, then block. The cycle repeats itself over and over. Even though Ghost hasn't moved an inch, I'm forced to scurry all across the shrine grounds. Worse, I've been stuck in the defensive for the whole time. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> I continue warding off ghost attacks as I desperately search for a way to close the distance. From what I can tell, her spears don't get any weaker the further they travel. On the other hand, my flame deteriorates with range. I can't tell if it's because I need more practice or what, but I can't even create them unless I swing my arms. On the other hand, she... Because freaking summoned spears out of nowhere. This time, my shield doesn't make it in time, and one of the spears lances my arm. She could fire off her attack as quick as I thought. As quick as thought, and with no warning. At this rate, she'll just keep chipping away at me until I'm ground down to nothing. Sophie told me to use as little as my power as possible, but if I want to break this vicious cycle, I'm going to have to risk playing a gambit. <laughs> I surround myself in a reef of flame and sprint at Ghost. No matter how many spears hit me, I grit my teeth and keep charging. Most of the spear's force is blocked by my flame armor, reducing the pain to a level I can withstand through sheer willpower. I'm charging blindly without any real plan in mind. What matters is that Sophie was right. Before I do anything else, I need to get closer. The only thing I can see working is hitting Ghost with a full power flame blast at point blank range. But before I can do that. <laughs> I swing my arms to the side, throwing a wave of fire at Ghost, just trying to back away. My flame slipped past Ghost and created a huge pillar of fire behind her. Yeah, it kind of sucks too, because this is our first time using our artifact, and it's like, the more you use it, the stronger you get with it, and apparently the more you can erode too, but... It would be nice if we weren't, like, just using it for the first time here. She's probably trying to rile me up and make me lose my cool. Too bad I'm about to wipe that crap-eating grin off your face. I ignore the barrage of spears she hurls my way and keep closing in. Ghost tries to back away again and then realizes what's behind her. Her arrogant sneer vanishes. She's finally realized... I boxed her in from all sides of a wall of fire. There we go, Kakaru. I like this. I like to see. Okay. Her path of retreat is cut off. I wasn't aiming for you in the first place. Clever boy. <laughs> like she's talking to a dog. I know from experience that if she jumped through the flame, she'd get get through without taking much damage. But she doesn't know that. She hesitates. The half second of hesitation is all the opening I need. <laughs> I dodge her last best shot and charge forward, keeping my body low. You're mine now. Take this. Uh oh. I reach out to grab her by the collar, but my hand catches only air. I'm so surprised I trip over my own feet and crash to the ground. What the hell just happened? There's no way I missed her at that distance, and she couldn't have dodged because of the flame. Yet she's still gone. Did she jump through the flames knowing she still takes some damage? No, she didn't. She just up and disappeared. She vanished right in front of my eyes. Wow, it's almost as if she's a ghost. Her mocking voice calls up from behind me. There's no way she traveled that far in such a short time. Grinning, ghost leaps in the sky. A second later, she hits the ground. Directly in front of me. <laughs> oh, I scramble to my feet and swing a fist at her, but ghost leaps backward and disappears once more. She lands 30 feet away from where she started. Does she have like an artifact that lets her like move very quickly? Uh, so she, she's like jumping. Maybe she can like manipulate gravity or something? Who knows? Oh, she's teleporting. Okay. Well, it sounded like she was leaping. Is she really teleporting then? Just how many artifacts does this monster have? I mean, I knew she had at least three. <laughs> Your bluff. Honestly, I'm panicking right now. <laughs> I can't believe she got to battle like this in the whole time. 
Nah, we're fine. What's the worst that could go wrong? We're the protagonist. Of course we can't die. That'd be crazy. Bite my lip in frustration. Sophie's right. I've got no cards left to play. This isn't a battle I can win with Guts alone. I need to close in on her. I've got no chance of winning. But given her abilities, that's impossible. No matter how close I get, she can just teleport away. My fists won't be able to reach her. I should regroup and try again after formulating a plan, like Sophie said. How am I going to get away from someone who can teleport? Besides, this is still... I once again read myself in flaming armor. Ghost lips twist into a sneer. This is a battle of wills, nothing more. What good would it do to run away? Might as well just give up now. She can summon an infinite number of spears, and she can teleport. But so what? If she can do all these powers, she's going to run out of gas first. I just have to hold out until she's exhausted. Eh, I don't think that'll happen, but... I'll be getting back up no matter how many times it takes. <laughs> I like how we're just surrounded in flame. You just see her, like, sighing. She's like, ah, that's all you got, huh? Go size. Say whatever you want, but I'm never giving up. I'll batter your spirit until it breaks. Yeah, you keep using your spears. Gosh, that's a lot. Countless spears rise up from the ground, piercing her. She can summon them from the ground? What is this? She can blindly isn't gonna work. It's a little overpowered, don't you think? Summoning spears from the ground? I burn away the spears embedded in me and dodge the next wave ghost fires by running in a zigzag pattern. Something stabs me in the back, then I feel another hit, and another, and in the thigh and shoulder. One after another ghost spears slam into me. She's predicting my movements. Something I managed to brace myself enough to stay on my feet. It takes every last ounce of willpower to keep me from losing consciousness. As a matter of Sophie's right, I can't heed that warning. I still haven't fallen, which means I can keep going. But how am I supposed to fight back? I thought I was really cool coming here alone, telling myself it was all for Sora's sake. I was so sure that as long as I didn't give up, I could win. But now here I am, a pathetic wreck. Gosh, can you not? That's so blinding. Ghost once again summon countless spears behind her. I know from the start the odds are against me. That's what I've got to think. Think, 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 and keep on thinking. There's got to be some way to survive this. Some way to smash her spirit. I don't know, Kakura. You're going to have to pull out your trump card. You're going to have to diss her waifu and her husbando. Ghost creates another wall of spears. This one protecting her. Think, think, think. I haven't given in yet. I haven't lost yet. It's not over till I say it's over, ghost. I've got to buy time. I desperately shoot out a wave of fire. Ghost vanishes along with her spears. I sense something behind me and whirl around. Ghost throws her head back and laughs. Her wall of spears isn't next to her anymore. In fact, there's not a single spear around her. Wait, does that mean? Oh, she's summoning more. <laughs> she summons another army of spears. I can't be sure, but maybe. What if she can't use more than one artifact at the same time? If she's focused on summoning spears, that means she can't teleport in that case. Ghost points her finger at me. Her wall of spears tilts towards me. Kick off the ground and make a break for Ghost. Go on, attack me. I dare you. This is the first time I've heard her sound angry. Ghost takes aim and... She's pissed off at us. Launches her spears. This is my chance. I swing my right hand forward and bring forth a curtain of fire. I then thrust my left hand out, shooting off a barrage of fireballs. If she wants to dodge, she'll have to erase her spears. If she prioritizes attacking me, then she'll get hit by flames, too. No matter how much I get hurt along the way, I'm not about to cancel my own powers. I'll burn her to ash. I don't think that's how that works, but okay. So what's this gonna be, Ghost? She disappears. Frick. <laughs> so she can use them at the same time. She chose to dodge. Oh, never mind. I guess she had to cancel a little bit. 
I, I guess because her spears are already in motion, maybe. They, they, they'll keep going. A horde of spears fills my vision. There's no time to run or guard. Well, frick. There goes that plan. I cover my head and the gesture proves pointless. The swarming spears plunge my arm and bury themselves in my skull, ripping my mask to shreds. Sophie's presence vanishes. My whole body is skewered through, and excruciating pain assaults my brain. can't afford to fall. I can't, but... I mean, now that we lost the mask, though, she can just use her her evil eye. Watch my knees, anyways. It's the one enemy we can't defeat. Thick thighs. Ghost glares at me. I glare right back, but considering I can't even stand up, I doubt I look very intimidating. She creates another huge wall of spears. Oh, okay, that's kind of you. Sure. And another. The two walls of spears merge together, turning into a single wall of swords. She transforms all of her spears into swords, making them even more powerful. No! Ghosto! Ghost curls her fingers into a fist. Her swords all point towards me. Her lips curl into a smirk, but just as she's about to swing her fist down, she loses her balance and stumbles. Wait, did she reach her limit? No, I don't think that's it. She stumbles again, this time falls to her knees, but she doesn't look exhausted, just surprised. As if she tripped over something she wasn't expecting. The frick? What's going on? Is so... I'm just imagining Sophie just walking below her, just like tripping her, like, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm so shocked that I can do a stare bl blankly at her. Annoyed ghost slams her fist in the ground and glares at me. Not me, behind me. Oh, frick, who is it? Oh. Kosaka, you decided to save me, huh? It figures someone would save me. As sad as it is, like. Kakaru always needs someone to save him. I'm hoping once he like figures out what his power is that he'll be able to like fight on his own more, but for now we're just kind of chilling, so. Does she actually remember me then? I, I thought everyone would forget us. Turning around, I see a familiar face smiling down gently at me. Kozuka Senpai. You just said my name down there, didn't she? That means I'm no longer under the influence of Sora's powers. Maybe that means the uh, her artifact, the contract, is is null now. Does that mean Sora's power never worked in Kozuka Senpai in the first place? That's unexpected to think she'd come to my rescue. I take her outstretched hand and rise to my feet. You know, I will take the help, because obviously we need it. The power of love. Yeah, sure, something like that. Power <laughs> love, yep. Senpai giggles, then whirls to face Ghost. Wow, okay. This was all just to get my attention, huh? <laughs> struggles to her feet. The moment she does, a stray cat jumps out and weaves between her legs. That causes her to lose her balance once more and she falls to her knees again. Oh, 
Ghost Master composed her crumbles and she started shouting. I'm as confused as she is. Not only was that a bizarre thing for a cat to do, it was way too convenient for us. Weird cat is what keeps tripping ghosts up. Some invisible powers are preventing her from avoiding it. I would like it if she explained her power a little bit further. That would be nice to know. Explain it at least for us, okay? I would like to know. Those good senpai turns to face me are screwed, fluttering. We literally just got our powers, what do you mean? <laughs> our powers are not that strong. There's something reassuring about that smile of hers. I'm sorry I didn't trust you before, Senpai. Take a step forward, it's time to end this. Oh yeah, I'm sure it'll be this easy. Totally. Yeah, I'm sure nothing possibly could happen here. She launches a spear at me from a kneeling position, but I cover my arm in fire and brush it aside. I guess she really has exhausted herself. That spear was a lot slower than the others. <laughs> お前には無理だ。俺に触ることすらできない。あ、飛べないだろう。空中にいることそれが発動のトリガーだろう。毎回そうだ。オッケー。高坂先輩の力の影響下にある今、お前は動けない。It's a good observation actually. She did kind of jump. That's why I was like confused. I'm like, how did she get so far? Did she just like jump super far? Is she like screw gravity or something? Oh, it feels so good to just screw over ghosts like this. I grabbed ghosts by the collar and yanked her to her feet. I finally got you. Yeah, kind of, actually. あ、そうさ。俺はただの無能だ。だが。助けてくれる人がいる。どうするってんだ。決まってんだろ。いや、きつくす。二度と殺しなんてできないように。二度と俺たちの前に現れないように。Gosh, like, I know, I know Ghost isn't a great person, but I would have loved it if they would have like made her come to our side or something. I know, it looks like it hurts, Ghost. You're wincing. できるさ。そのつもりで来た。アーティファクトを奪うだけじゃダメだ。お前はまた。I like how even when he's monologuing, he calls her Kokyo-senpai. Kokyo-senpai. <laughs> Oh, Kirk, she's got some up her sleeve, huh? Ah! 
Instead of VS Ghost is turning to stone, her powers have gone haywire and started eating at her. She no longer has the ability to control the evil eye. Is that because he's burning her soul right now? Oh, that's creepy. Why do you have to make that face? Is it murder, though? It's kind of self-defense. I wouldn't say it's murder. murder. Murder makes it seem like it was done in cold blood. Like, nah. He was defending himself and defending... Everybody. <laughs> My gosh. Oh, a freaking a protagonist that's willing to kill somebody. Because it's the right thing to do. Because the, they'll never stop. They'll go and kill you later if you don't. That's what I like to see, guys. That's what I love to see. Ghost turns to stone and crumbles to pieces. Like, yes, that is hard, because, like, on your psyche, too, like, now he's going to forever know, like, hey, I killed somebody, and that's going to mess with him, and that causes problems, right? But it's like, uh, it, it's just the right thing to do sometimes. You, you just have to. There's just no way around it. <laughs> that was great, though, that she got turned to stone instead of... That was pretty great. Suppose Hargo sent by as a point. In the end, Ghost was killed by her own artifact. But I'm the one who pushed her that far. Yes, there's no denying it. I'm the one who... The strength drains from my limbs and I drop to my knees. A wave of exhaustion washes over me. I don't think I can get up. I used up everything I had back there. But now, no one else will have to suffer. Ah, not freaking Renya. Screw this guy. Takamine steps out of the shadows. He's staring blankly at the shattered chunks of stone that were once ghost. Should have expected him to come here. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Takamine's eyes strike sparks. Are we gonna have to fight him too? Oh, frick, what is his? Why does everyone keep saying hides? Freaking talk. Uh, Kakuru said hi. You saved my hide earlier, and now he's saying I'll have your hides for this. Interesting translation. His eye glows with a bit of witching light. Wait, it can't be. Don't tell me he's also. Can't move. My body stiffened up. What? There's two evil eyes? What is this? What? Does one of them have, like... Does he have, like, a copy ability? Like, he can copy one or something. How can he be using it? Don't tell me he's also a user of the evil eye. Step by steps in front of me. What talk about his light of sight interrupted him from the evil eye's power. Okay. <laughs> I think she knows that, my guy. Don't need to tell her. Hey, hey. You gotta wait to your episode, okay? Senpai stumbles. Uh oh, is she gonna transform back into her other self? The legs give out and I heard to catch her before she falls. Don't tell me. Okay. Is this technically the first time that we've confirmed that her other side of her is like a different? It, it, it's pretty much has, pretty much has to do with her artifact. I mean, I feel like that's very obvious, but I'm like, I don't think we've ever like really had that confirmed. Could be wrong. 
Holding Ghost in place used up too much of Kosuke Senpai's stamina. Kagyusho. I avert my gaze from his glowing eye. What do I do? Both of us are out of steam. Darn it, there's only one thing to do. I've got to beat him with my own somehow. Sophie! <laughs> Sophie appears out of nowhere and floats down beside us. Don't really feel like there's time to be resting, Sophie. What, did you call backup or something? I feel like that's probably what she did. Now that people will remember us again. Please tell me. Please tell me Yuki's gonna, like, pop in and start saying some chuny stuff to him. Look at me, his BS suddenly cuts off and glitches his eye. For a second, I think it's all part of the Chuni charade, but it looks like that's not the case. Sophie wasn't kidding when she said she had everything under control. She brought reinforcements. Freaking knew it. Okay, so that is kind of what I thought uh, Sophie was talking about with Miyako. Like, she could steal, steal sight if it's, like, in their eye. Because I'm guessing their artifact is their eye, or like has joined their eye. Yes, Noah's here too. Yes. Noah. I'm so excited. If I must. Please. We're gonna get to see her power too. Let's go. Let's go. Kavini's arm jets out to the side, straining as if he's been crucified in an invisible cross. What the heck? This has got this just got so good. What the heck? Freaking Takamine is getting a power now. Freaking we got to see two evil eyes, apparently. Uh, we got to see all ghost powers. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> the frick sword is here too? Okay. <laughs> that was a very loud growl for him. With a faint whoosh, she injects Ambrosia into Takamine. Okay, that's not how that works. It doesn't go away in a few seconds. Like, what the frick is this ending, guys? I like even as he's struggling, he still act keeps the little chuny act. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting everybody to be here. I was like, oh, probably somebody's gonna come in. You know, Sophie's gonna bring, like, maybe Miyako or Noah or somebody. Again, got everybody, apparently. Okamine crumbles to the ground. The Ambrosia puts him to sleep. It's over. It's time. It's really over. Tears in her eyes, sword runs over to me. Thank goodness. Sora. よかった。本当に良かった。彼。それはこっちのゼリフでしょ。ちょ。またちょっと一緒になってない。大丈夫。俺は大丈夫だ。それより高坂先輩を。あ、高坂先輩大丈夫ですか。Yeah, literally have the entire group here. Kind of crazy. And Yuki's words, everyone looks down toward Takamine. Then towards the shadow remains of remnants of ghosts. Gosh, these stupid flies will not leave me alone. Uh, she almost dissolved to sand at this point. Ah, uh, yeah, so we've just... We've been just having this huge battle, you know, just the whole place is destroyed. Yeah, we should leave before someone notices, you know. Hmm. 
待ってくれアーティファクトを回収しな私がやるわあなたたちは早く帰って休みなさい Yeah, I think that's fair. Sophie would probably just take him anyways. <laughs> Can I at least have the teleporting one? I think that would be kind of cool. I take Sora's hand and struggle to my feet. After one last look at Ghost, the five of us leave the shrine. The user of the evil eye has been defeated. Our city is finally safe again. Huzzah! I feel like we're in some D&D campaign. Yeah, I can't feel anything. So, I'm fine. We're chilling. Hey, I was going to the convenience store. I was going to get you a cup of noodles or something. She looks dead on her feet. Hey, it's better than being dead on the ground like Ghost is. We pick up the pace. It's really over. No one else will have to get hurt. No one. Why was there the little dot dot dots there at the end, huh? What was that about? Hmm? Hmm? All right, guys, we end it here because I think we still have a little bit more. Maybe I'll make the episode longer. We'll we'll see how much we get through. We'll see if I if I think I'm getting towards the end. But like like I said, I looked and I saw that I had a few more hours to go uh, from where where I was in the game compared to this other person I was looking at. But um, I haven't really looked ahead to see what's going on. And then I also have to do the um, the other ending too. So I got to see about that. But anyways, guys. I enjoyed that. It was good. Um, it, it's always kind of convenient how everyone like comes in and saves Kakaru. Like, I would love to see Kakaru eventually get to the point where he can fight his own battles. It, it's fine if he fights along people, aside people, but it would be nice if he's not like always having to be saved at the last moment, you know? That would be nice. But, uh, freaking, I didn't expect to see quite literally everybody. <laughs> it was like everybody came to our rescue. I was like, okay. Which was nice. We got to see um, a little bit of Noah's power. That was cool. It seemed like she like put him on the cross. She put him on like a cross or something. Is that what she said? Some kind of crazy stuff. I was like, okay. Anyways, uh, and then it sounds like Sora is doing better now. So that's good. And uh, Takamine lost his power as well. So I wonder where they're gonna go from here. I guess this is just gonna be the rest of the good ending here, right? Like, this is probably just going to be the rest of the end, and then probably the end of the episode. Uh, I'll, I'll probably be covering the bad ending, too. I'm not sure how long that's going to be, but I'll make sure to cover that before I finish out this episode. Because I want to see what would have happened if I would have chose to ex uh, accept her love then and there. I think that's so funny, though, that I chose the other one, and that ended up being right. I think that's great. I love it. But uh, anyways, guys, I'll stop talking. Anyways, I shall see you in the next one. Have a good one.